Feels like love. Cupid made a shot. Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? So I thought I would come in and just do a quick little talk, not too crazy, skip ahead a minute or two, and then we'll be over that. Then we're gonna get in the studio. I want to do a little bit of organizing. If I have time today, I really would like to give myself a good, nice wet manicure and just get my nails nice and cleaned up. I'm just doing like the house and stuff. They're just a little rough and I think they need a little love. If I have time, I'll get to it. If not, it'll probably be like a next week thing. Today is Thursday the 1st. So today I want to get in the studio, try to get a little bit of organizing done. Um, I really would like to get that Born Pretty video done too if I can today. There's a few videos I really need to try to get up. My time... Yeah, I completely forgot to turn my phone off. We're gonna keep it in though. That's life, right? My bad. I really... Stop! I really thought I muted that. I'm so sorry guys. Um. Yeah, so there's just been a lot of work I've had to do. Now, executive decision, I did do a little bit of organizing in one of the videos and I, after I watched it, I was like, the angles, everything, it was just kind of a bad video and I feel it's because the house is just too messy and it was about 10 days ago or so, 11 days ago, I think it was the 20th I said in the video. So I decided to delete it. Like I said, it really wasn't that good. It was just, it wasn't, yeah, it just wasn't good. It was just a chaotic little video. So we're going to get into a lot more better organizing today. I'll show you the setup, what it looks like so far. Now in the drawers, anything I have done, it is basically has mimicked what I had before because it really does work or they're just not done to where I like know how I'm going to want to use and function. Being in a space, you're going to function differently. So you're going to see what works and doesn't work. I had some stuff that really worked for me because before my setup was mainly on my left and now I have mainly on my right. So I don't can't use the stuff that I had so much. It's, it's kind of different. So I've noticed I'm kind of like getting rid of a lot of things, not throwing them out at all. I just put them in storage. So that way, if I do change my mind later, then they can always come back. So I just thought I would come in. I do want to give an update on the vlog. I know like I had this big dream and aspiration of just coming and doing my vlog and kind of getting the house together and doing all that. But then I think in the transition of that, I've actually realized I love decorating my home and I love doing projects and stuff like that and organizing in my home. I think it's just a part of me. But I also realized I like to do that kind of as like a mental escape. It kind of just makes me more relaxed and chill. And I do it a lot of the times like whatever time I feel in my pajamas, just chill, right? So I just don't know how, I feel like every time I was trying to film it, it was very forced and it's just not something I'm used to doing it. So I think I'm just gonna be realistic of within myself and just put that vlog, kind of put it on ice for right now. I'm not gonna delete the channel, I'll leave it there for now. Maybe down the road once I get more settled into the house and like with the studio, BR is my priority. Um, my nail channel is my priority. So a vlog is just not really like, I thought it'd be, I th still think it'd be something great and fun, but I have to do it like, I don't know, more comfortably. And I just feel like I'm forcing it and I don't want to feel forced to do things that I love to do because then I'm going to lose the passion for those things. And I love design. Even designing this like house before we, we got it, like I literally had it sketched out to how everything was going to be. It's kind of funny, but, and it literally looks like my sketch almost. A few things still ain't done with the cupboards, but I feel like it'll come. I have something in my eye and it's actually kind of annoying me. So we'll go, we'll jump in the studio. I thought I'd show you Blue's little setup though. I kind of gave him, I wanted to transition him into more free roam so that means that he can just kind of have the living room and he can just kind of come and go now he'll still be put in his like cage or whatever at night if i go out he'll be put in his cage sometimes through the day i might put him back in there it all depends right now i need him to get used to actually even using like the litter outside so we're just working on it. it's only the second day that he's been out running around and that's this house has taken me the longest i can ever remember to get a house in order I feel like now it's in order there's still a lot to do like my office area and my makeup area is still chaotic not even done yet but then i was just like being realistic i'm like girl you've actually done a lot of work a lot of things have got done even with the setbacks um but then i was like i think every other time i've moved i lived in my old house for quite like quite a few years so 
I just feel like every other time I moved, I think I was just like younger and had less stuff. And I'm like growing now, so I have stuff. Like I have, you know what I mean? I have items. I'm not just growing with like 20 things and then there you go, right? Easy to put away. So I had a whole home. So yeah, I think that's why it's taking a little bit longer, but it's, it's coming. It's almost done. It's almost done. So yeah, I'll show you him quickly and then let's go in the studio and I don't want to bore you guys for like 10 minutes, but I did want to be honest in like where I am and where I stand with the vlog. I'm just going to put it on ice for now. I don't want the pressure of that. And then like I said, I started feeling forced to do it, which made me not enjoy doing the decorative things that I love to do and organize, right? So I don't want to lose that either. I just have to find the balance and I have way too much going on right now. I think I was... I don't know what I was trying to do. I was just trying to do it all and I have to be real with myself. I'm, you know what I mean? I can't do it all all the time. So I'm just going to take my time with that maybe again in the future. But for sure, I'm just going to leave it be for a few months and focus where my, I need to focus is on my home, my health and my business and little man. So I thought I'd just show you him quickly. I'll turn you guys around and then we'll go in the studio and start some work i know there's definitely there's a box of stuff that has to be put away which is glitters and stuff from the old house that we created which is crazy that i never got put away um and i want to do the carts for sure today so those are the two things that we got to do today for sure and then hopefully i can get in and just give myself a quick little soak these, these nails are dry and just they just need a good little like all right wet. so let's see blue's little area so this is Blue's cage. He looks gonna live here. This painting, in all truth, what I have planned for that is I'm completely gonna ruin it. Hopefully it'll turn out nice, but I'm gonna paint it like whitish and then put spackle all over it and try to get this like museum vibe feel. That's because it just doesn't go with the house anymore. And canvases are expensive, so you can repurpose them. It just takes a little bit of a process. Anyways, Blue's little area. So I created a little outside home for him. The reason that the towel is down and it will stay down when he's out is floors like this, like bunnies don't like them. They just slip and slide. So that gives him a walkway to know to go to your room to hopefully use the litter. It was cute yesterday. He actually was in his little house. And then I bought him this little box. It actually is a hay thing, but... They don't make way too much of a mess. His teddies usually stay in there, but his laundry is in the wash right now. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that is him. Cute little guy. He's just chilling. He was running all around. So, so this is the studio. This is a little lounge area that I kind of created, which is going to work so good for when I feel just to come and edit or just want some good relaxing time, I feel. So I kind of did this little wall. I'm actually going to change a little bit though. Because um, I want to put a blue strip down there to tie in with the chairs. Kind of like a slight blue accent I want in this home. So here, she messy. I know guys. Now with these, all these, I'm actually going to have to put these in storage. I don't have room for these little holders. It's just not working anywhere that I've come to see. I'm not liking it so I'm gonna create something to put on the wall that's easily to be like removed because like this blue rose which I know I'm missing an eye there in the subscribe I lost it in the journey that's actually gonna go like I'm not gonna even keep that up anymore realistically when you see it in videos it's always backwards and it will annoy my brain if I actually leave it backwards for you guys to read correctly if that makes any sense so She's just going to go anyways, and then that's going to get full of polish when the time comes. And then, yeah. So these carts I want to flip out today. We're going to change these carts. That box has to be put away. This avid calendar, we have to find a home for it to live. I think I'm going to do it every week. I think it's going to be more exciting than trying to do a small clip um, every day for it. So let's do it every week. Or once a week, sorry. And we can just kind of do it like that. So all these goodies here we have to put away. Um, I really wanted to get this film today, but if not, I think I'm going to put a base, just one of them on my nails anyways. We have to label these. Um, yeah, and then that's kind of it. I did this set with the color, colorful July, but I'm not keeping it. I don't know. I was just kind of playing with it and eh, 
she's just kind of too basic so i'm gonna i have to redo i have to do those sets too like this week oh it's such a busy week like i said let me turn you guys around so yeah so like i said um today's thursday friday i won't get much time in the studio at all i usually don't on fridays saturday i think i can get a good day and to be honest i think i can get a full day saturday if i play my cards right sunday i need to do my groceries and stuff and the time i get back home it just it'll probably be too busy and then the evening so monday tuesday back to work i mean i look i don't know i swear this move has aged me like i feel like it has like i have like i said i don't know i just don't think i'm sleeping well and all truth these little bags under my eyes and I never get that. And also though, I feel like this last month, I thought, like I said, I thought I'd get stuff done a little bit better. So I haven't had like all my creams and I usually just do different eye creams and different methods. Vaseline works really well too. I do put Vaseline on my eyes at night, but that just helps with like moisture and stuff. But I feel like I got like, I got sleepy bags. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Let's turn some lights on though, shall we? On this kind of rainy-ish day outside she's gloomy out but i love this when you have beautiful days it's just so relaxing today is missy i can still see the cn tower today it's not that cloudy i do find with these windows though they s ow fudge sickles i need lip chap too I think it's locked. Oh, why I need it locked? God only knows. Okay, that's it. These windows are sweating because I had it closed all the way. It's always good to leave a little crack because it's a whole pan of windows. They sweat a lot. But I did buy these little moisture um, catchers, which help actually too. So it actually has been helping a lot. I just got them from Dollar Tree. So I think I'm gonna go grab like five of them and just kind of have them around okay so i'm gonna set you guys up a little different um turn on my candle i have this candle it's called strength nothing can dim the light which shines from within so this is called Gina, gina's mindful creation it's a handmade candle and mine looks a little weird right now i know you're like oh where's the wig why is it over there it did not come like that what i do is actually have a coffee warmer which works good for gel too if your gel is really stiff um but i put the candle on it and then you just have this beautiful smell all day i hook it up to the same switch that i have my light on so that way as i know if my light's off that's off too so i'll never have to worry about leaving it on but it just makes the room smell so nice and so like fragrant i just love it Okay, guys, so I'm just going to, like like I said, switch and flip you guys. I need some, like, lip chap. I can feel my lips dry AF. This is my favorite lip chap in the whole world. Palmer's Cocoa Butter. A little bit of, like, a lip chap pour, though. I always have to have it on my lips. All right. I don't know why we came. We didn't come here for all that. So let's get to work. I'm going to take those swatches down. I have the matte tack paper or contact paper, you call it, and then I have a few little things that I'm just going to kind of like create these like a one board and then I just want to put that on the wall. I don't want to put holes and stuff like that, but all right, let's do that. 10 minutes of just like thingy. Guys, my nose are so dry. Bad, bad. All right, so what I'm just going to do now, I actually what I want to do first is I want to switch the cards. Because like I said, in this space, like, it's just, I wouldn't say it's tight. Like, I don't find it's tight. Like, I'm used to working in small spaces, so I can literally from here and then I'm here, right? So I have a, it's a pretty good area. Like, if I'm here, I can extend my arm fully out and I'm not touching the other drawer, right? So it still does a good amount of room. But I don't know, I just feel like this big um, cart is kind of in my way. And I've noticed that. And usually when I use a cart and I have for my solutions and stuff, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I have it on my right side. So this little cart fits underneath the table perfectly. So I'm actually gonna try to switch it over. Is that light like really weird with the daylight? 
one thing i like though is that with these windows i look so tired and well i am a little but with these windows i put a film on it so nobody can see in and they just see like a mirrored effect from the outside so when you're sitting in front of it like it's nice to know that if not i don't feel i don't think i'd be comfortable in my studio in all truth so that was one of the first things i really wanted to get done i wanted because i know that like i'm sitting here working i don't want people just to be like looking at me it was kind of weird and one thing about these films which is great is that they're uv um like resistant so the uv light can't penetrate through them so it won't cure my gels right so that worked out great for me all right enough of this let's get to work oh my god girl 25 hours of freaking rambling so i'm just gonna like switch you guys i look better close up than i do far away that's crazy Okay, so I hope that's fine. I think I kind of got you guys at a decent angle. So what I'm going to do, I have two carts here. This is the mini, and then this is the regular size cart. These both are Michael's. Um, yeah, the other one I have in the bedroom is actually Ikea. So I have three in total. I'm using one for a planner cart, which I think is going to work great to come through my office, which is in the bedroom, and then out here in my studio when I need it as well. So for this, I want to move all these products over here. I feel like that's really what I need in life. And that's what we're going to do. But what your girl needs more than anything right now. Some cuticle oil. So extra hands and fingers. And then I have an extra one. I have a whole whack of these because well i just love all the little pieces they come with so big ones work great too I actually use them in my bathroom storage as well okay just want to make sure we're still recording that would suck it's happened more than once if you are a blogger youtuber whatever trust and believe it really sucks when you are recording and then you realize you're not recording so because i can't see the camera this is how this is going to work best for me so i'm hoping i have a white thing I'm really hoping that that will actually this stuff works great actually if you don't know oh get it from the dollar tree it's just an eye and lens cleaner it works really good to clean your phone your camera anything like that before you film i like to actually have it in the studio looks good for my monitor i personally need a monitor when i film because i need to see what i'm doing I'm the worst. I'm gonna give everything a good wipe. Now, I know a lot of these are not gonna fit. But I'm hoping that we can figure something out. gross that is and great that will fit in there so we're just gonna give this a good scrub because you nasty for now let's see so acetone solution, cuticle softener, gel solution, let's fill that up, so hand lotion, actually the cuticle oils, these are just homemade cuticle oils, and I just use like essential oils, a really really good um, avocado oil, I think I even used like grapeseed oil like there is some like different oils i use i really like it honestly but i do have um i should say proper ones i guess okay so two cuticles what's back there what do we have and bubble solution alcohol that's how mine goes i feel now 
I do use the M share not often, but it's good to have on hand. Okay, so I grabbed these as well. I actually found these at the Dollarama. Mm, yeah, they're probably worth the $4 that they wanted for them. Comes with two big ones, three long ones, and three baby ones. I'm not going to lie, I really do think I like the Ikea ones better, but I've seen them, and so I did want to grab two. I just actually grabbed two to see. Now, this literally is a bag full of these little guys. Some are already pre-cut. Stuff like that. See? Something pre-cut. I always save them because you just don't know when they're going to come in handy. And I feel like this is going to be handy. Where are we going here? Let's get back in the frame a little bit better. So I know I'm going to want to have my brush cleaner. Let me see something. Does that actually... No, they don't fit. So I'm probably going to want my brush cleaners there because I really try to wash them after all the services and use. But I feel like I'm going to want something there for my brushes. Now, I had these, which they're not going to work. Let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> no, not that one. Okay, so this one here, I really don't know if that would work either. Right here, one, two, three. Probably we could switch these three out. These are individuals for one of these. Now, the only thing about that is they're actually a lot smaller. So I have one here of those. Remember, they need to work in threes. This is already one of them. Which is working well. I have these. Should probably work. So if I actually just go over here. Grab this guy. For now. Because I think that's something I could... They all need to be cleaned out. So I'm just going to take that out. I'm going to get away. So as much as we're organizing today, guys, too, I really also want to give everything a good wipe and clean. So I just have a fresh, fresh, fresh studio. Now, I don't know if I should put my M share there or my bit cleaner. Actually, I think I'll have my bit cleaner in this cart because I still need this cart to function it's just gonna live actually on the opposite side of my desk where if I need it I can grab it but it's not like you know has to be in my way no for being in your business. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys ready for the holidays? Could you care less about the holidays? Are you just going to take it easy this year? Are you guys going to go crazy this year? Like, what are you guys up to? Dusty. I really feel like this year I'm just taking it easy with moving. I just don't. I don't have it in me to just like go crazy as I normally like probably would want to try to do. I kind of want to just like focus on my studio and my home this year. Just do a small Christmas. have what I need there. I need to have that tool. Some stir stick. This is definitely going to be a mixed um, little tray and I feel like because I use all these things often it's just going to work best for me and how I function. Now, I feel these tools. Should not be there.
Okay, so let me just show you how these two carts turned out. This is the mini, which I'm loving because if you see, it'll fit under my desk when I'm not using it. So I think this is going to work great for me. I just have all of my um, solutions that I could possibly need, my cleaners, a few things that I use that I just like to have on a hand right there, my brushes and whatnot. Down here, I have my swatches. And then on this side, I have dirty cloths and my two little pillows. My hand rest, really. So we're just going to flip it over on this side. Now I have all my stands, um, a little mini Madame Glam lamp, some extra little um, nail wipes. I have my one drill there. I'm actually going to get my other drill and put my other drill down here too. And then again, same thing down there on the bottom side. So I think that's going to work out pretty well. Like I said, I like it when I'm not using it. Oops. It fits right there. So now I have like the whole space back here and I don't have a cart in my way. This cart is going to live right over there when I'm not using it. But I'm just going to show you what is in it. I feel like that looks crooked. Doesn't that look crooked? Well, that was really, really crooked. How the bejeez did that happen? Anyways, I'll figure that out. So the top. I have my duster. I have my Melody Susie lamp. I think that's like a two-in-one so you get a regular light and then your curing light and I have my disinfectant wipes my little cleaner now down here I'm gonna just leave the can air there for now and this I have extra mask and booties so if I have clients and I'd rather them have booties on their socks than um, coming into my house barefoot um, here we have and I don't know where that lid is I have to find that lid it just like disappeared on me but I know it's around here somewhere um, here is just my extra hand and a couple clean dust brushes. Again, a couple extra dust, dust brushes. My little bit cleaner jar. Down here we have 10 gram pots. This top one is just like a little bit extra stuff. I'm going to go through it and probably try to organize that a little bit better. I just threw that down here for now. But we just have some more practice stands and tips. And then we have my bit cleaner. This is for my, or sorry, my implement cleaner um, little thing there whatever you call it container so when I do my weekly clean of all my implements and bits then I will have stuff in them but I don't keep stuff in them you see how crooked that is though because that's kind of wonky but um yeah so that's how that one looks and again it will I'm pretty sure fit right through here do you want to fit do you not want to fit it's a little tight okay there we go and then it can kind of live over in that corner. I'll obviously make it a little bit neater. I just had the heater on for a little bit on those windows because they're just sweating. I don't know why they sweat so much. I guess it's hot. But yeah, so that's where that will live over in that corner once I get it a little bit neater. But I have to change it out anyways. So yeah, I hope you guys... So there we go, we're back. I hope you guys enjoy the organizing the carts. At least we got that done. I thought I'd get more done, but that still took me like an hour. But I guess once you go through things and get everything cleaned and stuff, so I'm gonna clean off the desk here so I can at least get that functioning. And then I'll see. I still want to get the put away box put away, so but I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna take a break and get something to eat. Then come back, we'll put away the put away, and yeah, that should be it for this one. I can start looking here. Why don't I look here at you guys? It's crazy. I want to look at myself. I don't understand. So silly.
can't believe we started out from